Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Ghostbusters by Stern Pinball today. Please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats. Uh, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, it's always good to hit the skill shot up front because you get a million plus a three by multiplier on this. And as you notice, those pop targets to the tar top, it's our terror dog. Uh, it's almost like a slot machine. The more those pop bumpers hit, the more you get from Terror Dog to PK to Ghost to whatever, from multipliers, whatever you can think of. Uh, it will help you out tremendously. So the more you get back there, the better it is. So as we're going to gear of value, you got to hit that Proton Pack to the left to activate it to get those numbers and those bonuses. This is a great home use only game just because it is very difficult. It's a light difficulty or light high difficulty is the best way to put it. Uh, so it's, it's higher than moderate because the flipper gap is a lot wider, the speed of the table. Uh, layout is very simplistic. Flipper gap's wide, two in lanes left, right, and X lane left, right. Of course, you got your targets to the left, four capture balls, which light up different uh, things from super, uh, super jackpots to whatever. Uh, you also have your scoop, which is extra ball, Tobin's guide, spook fly brain, lane going all the way around, orbit to the comms to the top. Uh, you got a ramp there, exits right, in lane habit trail. Obviously, you have Slimer to the middle when activated. You need to hit him three times to get him to deactivate. You have lane past Slimer, which is Gozer. There's a target back there for Gozer. Pop bumpers, your PKE uh, columns to the back of that. You got Ghost lit up, target to the middle. Captured uh, ball right there, which is stacking books. Lane going around the outside, which goes to your columns and or it's an orbit, which is uh, okay, who brought the dog, Spook Central. Goes to the Gozerian, stay puffed. You got a ramp lane uh, shot there, which is to the right of that, says PKE. Very tight shot, might I add. That exits obviously to the right in lane. And then, of course, Terror Dog target and a scoop at the base, which the ball just went into. So, as you notice on that ramp, uh, it's flashing. Of course, we got one as the first one. It says storage facility is lit. So, that's our first lock. Should get bonus held there, so that'll go to our next, uh, our next game, our next ball. So now we're starting to go up the ranks at 20 to 30. Get the extra ball. And of course, the Scaleri brothers have been activated from hitting the capture ball, which is uh, book stacking. So now we've hit a super jackpot because that's lit, and it also should go into storage. Beautiful game, playfield artwork, translite artwork. Cabinet artwork, absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. The DMD, the call outs, the, the music, everything delivers on this game. It's beautiful. The light show, even the new code, it, I mean, they did a great job, Stern did on the new code. It's beautiful, all in all. One of my favorite home use only games uh, because of the high difficulty and the depth of the code is Ghostbusters, Beyond Star Trek, Attack from Mars, a couple other. Now we're gonna go into uh, this multi-ball. You get six balls on this. You can rack up a ton of points. I wish I was in mode before I got there, but it is what it is. Very hard to see. This is almost reminiscent of the strobe multi-ball on Attack from Mars. It's very dark. It's hard to see the balls, and you get a lot of them coming at you all at once. The fact that this has six balls on multi-ball is a super fun point of this game. I tell you what, it's beautiful. There we 
we go. Got extra ball now. And just look at this light show. This is definitely, this. I mean, it definitely delivers. Again, uh, Ghostbusters has a different kind of play to it. It's, it's very fast. It is difficult. But the thing is, is that it grows on you because it actually makes it harder to play, which makes it a better home use only game for most people. Uh, replayability of this game is absolutely there. If you love Ghostbusters, you will love this game. You just saw a fly ball, which will kick me out of multiple, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, replayability is there. Uh, fun factor, absolutely there on this game. Artwork is there. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better game, being truthfully honest. Would I buy this game for my home? I did. That's the one I'm playing right now. So take it from me. I mean, I'm not telling y'all to go buy this for your house for any other reason other than the fact that it's a very good home use only game. That's our first. Super Lupin uh, is a little bit more difficult. The reason I say that is because it is dark. And so it is hard to keep track of your ball. Shots are definitely there on this game. Flow is there. Replayability is there. You cannot go wrong with Ghostbusters. There we go. So we just did okay. Who brought the dog? And got a river, river reward out of it. Super Mario Brothers? Right down the middle. I would have tried to save that ball, but I would have uh, thrown the camera off. Definitely look for our review underneath the description of our video. Um, there all the metrics will be for your easy reading enjoyment, but beyond that 1.3 billion is not a bad game for us actually shooting a, a quick review on this machine. But anyway, till next time, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off. Thank you again for watching.